George Orwell famously said, journalism is printing what someone else does not want published, everything else is public relations. As a journalist who had the good fortune of having traveled around the world, pursuing stories about human rights, culture and the environment, I really disagree with this sentiment. Of course, we should be aware of wrongdoings. I have absolutely nothing but admiration for hard-hitting investigations. We need these powerful documentaries and investigative reports to shine a light on injustices and to hold the powerful accountable. Yet, it's tempting to think that exposing problems is all it takes to ignite change, isn't it? But sometimes that spotlight alone isn't enough. Exposing a broken system or corruption is vital, but it doesn't always offer a roadmap for repair. There are so many problems in our world that have been extensively documented, yet remain unsolved. That's because we need more than just awareness. We need inspiration. We need to see what solutions look like in action, how communities are building a better future despite the challenges that they face. So we should also be aware of the progress, innovation and solutions in our society. The problem is, bad news is accessible. In a world overflowing with information, it's easy to get lost in a maze of negativity and manipulation. We are bombarded with clickbait headlines and sensationalized stories designed to provoke outrage and anxiety not to inspire action. These narratives rarely offer solutions. Instead, they play on our fears and biases to generate clicks and profits. They leave us feeling powerless, cynical, paralyzed by the overwhelming sense that everything is broken. Anger and outrage are addictive and very profitable. So over the last decades, mainstream media and online platforms effectively manipulated our dopamine receptors for us to be angrier, lonelier and more polarized societies and selves. But here is the thing, amidst the noise, there is a revolution happening. A quiet, resilient revolution where communities, scientists and everyday people like you and me are tackling seemingly insurmountable challenges and making real, tangible progress. So I invite you to consider this. What if we shifted our focus? What if, instead of wallowing in negativity, we actively sought out stories of progress and possibility? Instead of corrupt politicians and angry men with guns, what if we talked more about change makers and scientists? Even though progress is happening alongside all the bad things, the stories about solutions or steps in the right direction are harder to come by. Despite the evidence that knowing about progress benefits our democracies and personal well-being, these stories are much more likely to help us take action, build communities and be an active part of that progress. And this is why I'm launching this channel, Sanity Feed, to share with you what works in our imperfect world, to feed you with stories that prove, even in the face of daunting challenges, there is hope. There is reason to believe that we can build a better future. Without ignoring or sugarcoating humanity's biggest problems, I am embarking on a mission to bring you stories of solutions and progress. From the mountains of Nepal to plains of Botswana, I hope you accept this invitation to join me in my optimistic virtual tour of our world.